everyone, welcome to Lekha Treat and thank you so much for being here. So today I am super, super, super excited to bring you a very delicious, quick to do recipe that you can make for your family and friends to enjoy. And yet it's another Ghanaian recipe and this is called Tatale. <laughs> I like how the name sounds, Tatale. And it's simply making um, it out of very ripe plantain. So I have very ripe plantains here that I got. It wasn't this ripe. It was like ready to be cooked as um, just simply um, making it as a ripe plantain dish, frying it, and I made it become overripe. So in case you have plantain that is overripe, please do not throw it away. I have got you covered. We are going to make tatali out of it. As you can see, for some of you, you may want to discard it but no 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 don't discard it it's going to taste super super awesome and that's just perfect for the recipe we are going to make today so we are going to make tatale and the base of our tatale recipe is simply ripe very ripe plantain very soft to touch as you can see it's so 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 soft and to this we are going to blend everything and we'll be adding a few ingredients the we are adding the most basic tatale ingredients that you can ever make and it's simply using one onion that i've peeled already i'm going to blend it together with our ginger and also pepper so i have this pakushito the green ones we call it pakushito in ghana i brought them from ghana and i also brought the red pepper from ghana and because my kids are eating i don't want to make it too hot but please feel free to add your pepper to suit your taste yeah just go crazy and wild with this recipe you would love it and yes we are going to use some flour all-purpose flour and I have about two tablespoons here we add extra we are just going to see but in case you want it very thick then of course you are going to add a lot more of the of the flour to your mixture so once we get to the flour I'll do a little bit of explanation there we are going to blend this first and then peel our plantain as well and and then mix everything together. We don't need water in this recipe, so we are going to blend it without water. If you have the earthenware pot from Ghana, then of course you can use that, yeah, to help you. But next comes our pepper. <laughs> So we are done with blending our ginger garlic. I want you to see the quantity we got, so I'm transferring it into this bowl that I got from IKEA. You don't have to get a very fine consistency. Yeah. So this is what we got. I, as you can see, it's not so finely um, blended, but it's very good. Seasoning for your meat, your chicken. And we didn't add any amount of water to this. We just used the juices of the onion and the ginger to blend. Yeah. So that's what we have. We are going to peel a plantain. Just look at how soft it is to peel it. It's super, super, super easy and it's going to taste amazing you know with plantain the softer it is you know the sweeter it becomes and you need to give plantain a lot of time to get so 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 sweet so we've done that with this plantain and we are going to enjoy it so at this point in time i'm just going to use my hand blender to blend this a little bit in here i'm not transferring it can decide not to blend make it super um, smooth you can leave little chunks here and there so we are all done just look at the consistency we have here so creamy so yummy already so because I do not want us to lose any of our lovely portions that we are going to um, our lovely mixture that we are going to fry I'm using this spatula that I use for my bacon just to make sure I have everything in here just look at this amount or I've gone waste but I don't want to next we'll be adding our ginger garlic mixture and please feel free to add as much as you want to suit your taste 
I'm going to be adding everything because I want it very nice, well seasoned and spicy. We'll be adding some salt to taste. This is what I have. Just feel free, just add salt according to your taste. This is about um, one teaspoon of salt. So I'll be tasting it in case I need more, I'll add it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. So next comes in our all purpose flour. You should add, in case you want it very thick, then you obviously will be adding more. And the good thing is that you can just fry the first batch to see if the thickness of it is okay for you. In case it's too soft, then you would need to add more. So as at this stage, I think it's too soft. I can already tell because in case your flour is also not enough, it's, going, it's not going to bind together. That's another thing to look out for. This is the most basic recipe you would ever find. So we are moving on to frying. Yes, the authentic Ghanaian tatali you need to fry it with. Ta-da! Palm oil. But in case you don't have palm oil, feel free to use vegetable cooking oil, sunflower oil, wrap soil. I don't know what wrap soil is in English, but in German we have wrap soil. I'll look for it and insert it somewhere. So you can use sunflower oil, any cooking oil of your choice. We are going to use palm oil. I got this palm oil from Ghana and that's what we have left. I have another gallon just like this and it's, it tastes really good. This is not a paid advertisement, but this oil really tastes good. So in case you find it, please give it a try. And because I do not want to use a lot of it, we are going to just use a little bit at a time I'm pouring a bit of the palm oil here yeah not much maybe about three tablespoons of palm oil let's just look at how beautiful our palm oil is so we are going to be frying this on medium heat this is what we are going to be frying this is our mixture So as we can tell, it's too soft. I'll be adding a little bit of our, of our flour to it. I'll add like two tablespoons more of the flour. Like you need to check for your salt to see in case you need more salt, then please add according. In total, we've added about five tablespoons. Enjoy your tatali with beans, with rice, you know, basically anything with granite. It tastes absolutely delicious with granite. So that's two tablespoons we have there. I'm going to fry another batch at the side. Just take a good look at our tatale so beautiful it looks amazing once you push your you press your spatula gently not so hard and you don't have the mixture running out of it then it means it's done so just look at that it looks super beautiful super amazing and this is what we are looking for Just look at this delicious goodness, how magnificent it looks. Ghana food is simply delicious. And this is one of many delicious delicacies you can get from Ghana. You can eat it as a snack. You can take it with um, bean stew, with fried rice, 
jollof rice, you know. Having this at parties is amazing. It's amazing. Try this for your friends, for your family. They will absolutely love it. So I'm just going to take a piece for us to see how we did. And just look at this goodness. Finally, we are done. And this is what we made. Just see how delicious this looks. It looks super, super, super delicious. It looks so, so, so yummy. And yeah, my family is going to try this. Please try to make this for your family, your friends, to have this as a snack in the evenings. They are simply going to enjoy this. Yeah. See how beautiful it turned out. It looks so yummy. So we are going to give one of this a try. We are going to taste it. And I just want you to see the consistency. This is how it looks. This is what we are going for. Just look at that on both sides. It looks super, 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 super delicious. And it's kind of hot. Yeah, I just finished cooking it. So we are going to break one. Ta-da! Look at that. Mm. Mm, delicious and as always simple easy lekka try it out you love it see you in the next one <laughs> bye